All right, good morning, y'all. Rise and grind. What is up, Roddy fam? Today we are going to be talking about the flirt pole. As you see, Ragnar is very excited to uh, play with the flirt pole. Uh, what what this tool is, what it's for, how to build it, you know, um, how to use it. So basically, hey, stop. Ragnar, Ragnar doesn't understand that much. Basically what this tool is, I'm going to go ahead and lay it down just so y'all can see. It is a PVC pipe with a rope attached. And at the end of that rope attached is a tug toy. And at the other end of the PVC pipe are some arandelas. I don't know how you call that in, um, in English, but basically it's so that when they tug, as you see, it doesn't end up going, you know, through the pipe. Now, you could buy flirt poles. I, I really don't see the point of buying something. If you want to be fancy, you can buy them. But um, I'm more of a do-it-yourself kind of guy, right? It's pretty simple to make. Uh, I see it used a lot in the bully community or in the pit community. I rarely see it used in our, you know, Rottweiler community. Uh, I, I don't understand why it's a very very powerful tool now what do you use this for I use it as you see I, I don't have a very big yard right I have a pretty small yard so it's a great way of exercising them it's an alternate way of exercising them and it builds play slash prey drive as, as you see it's mimicking you know an animal I'm trying to get away from them so that play drive and prey drive that, that our dogs have our breed has it, it not only does it build it but as well it'll reveal you know the, the, the type of drive that your dog has so it's great exercise and as opposed to the tire um, same principles but the tire is heavier whereas the tug is lighter the flirt pole allows much more rapid movement. Um, it allows them to run more. And the tug, it allows me to, you know, pull more uh, on the tug, right? So it's it's same principle, just you exercise them in a different way. Now, you do want to be careful precisely because it allows for quick movement. It allows them to jump up. As you saw Ragnar at the beginning kind of jumping up um, when they're puppies their growth plate, plates haven't closed so you do want to be careful you know with it you don't you don't want to overdo it you don't want to you know overkill um, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos as with anything that you do with your dog you should have a purpose so this is not exercise just for exercise sake or play just for play sake you should build you or you could build obedience drills into it right uh they'll go ahead and know leave it or or the hasake right um they'll know how to wait um i teach them with this get it right which is the, basically great hey, go ahead and bite that right um and and for the professional trainers out there you know this is one way that you could get them to start to to bite and whatnot right I, i'm not a trainer so I, I don't know anything about that um, but I do know that they do use that. I, I use it personally just to exercise them. If I don't have time to go out and walk them or, or um, hike with them or whatever, then I'll go ahead and use the, the flirt pole. Hey, Ragnar, suck it. See? So he knows. Yeah, sit. If she wants it, she'll go ahead and sit down. Suck it. Yeah, sit. Good. You want this? You want this? I see Ragnar will kind of settle down. He'll follow. And get it! So you see with, with, with three of them, it's a bit difficult. You can make the, the rope longer. You can make it smaller. PVC pipe rope longer, smaller, whatever. But basically, it's a great way to, to exercise them and, and work them out. Um, right now I'm only with one hand so I can't really pull that much but it gets their muscles you know bigger and gets them wider as you see with Raven right here 
you know, she she's the older one, so I've worked her out much more. Again, I don't really see it used that much in our community. I see it more in the in the bully community or in the pit bull type community. Uh, and I don't know why, man. Um, it's a great, great tool that we could be taking advantage of, man. Let me know if y'all use the flirt pole, uh, what y'all use it for, how y'all use it. Uh, show me your pits. Show me your roddies in the comments. And uh, yeah, man, let's get it till next one. Peace.